भूदेवी इसको पढ़ने सुनवती है बिकॉज फ्रॉम हर ओनली एवरी लग्जरी एंड कंफर्ट एंड एवरीथिंग इज गिवन फॉर द पीपल लिविंग अपॉन द लैंड सो भूदेवी हैज अनदर नेम एज वसुमती एंड सो वसुमती इतंब प्राग्भारह सो शी हैज गॉट दैट वाइड ऑफ थिंग बट बिफोर पार्वती सो इट हैज बिकम लघुत्वम नायकिचा इट इज जस्ट गो टू लघुत्वम and stada yet it have become very much strong also now this kind of a uh, description of the beauty of the woman especially beautiful woman because a woman is beauty woman therefore the beauty has got uh, uh, view has been viewed in several ways just to take a diversion to know how many poets have been trying to describe the nitamba portion of the beautiful woman especially the nayikas of the respective compositions for example when you talk about the vignana sarkuntalam there is a description about the nitamba para in a different manner that uh, is sarkuntala is walking very slowly and uh, the imprints of her foot are deeper at the ankle side uh, rather than the uh, front portion of the feet therefore that only telling that pudevi is bearing a richer uh, footprints of uh, of sakuntala and that is the that is the uh, poetic fancy which kalidasa entertains there and uh, anandavardhana a great poet has already given the clue in the poetic sarangara chapter that uh, the imagination the description always depends upon the mood and the spirit of the poet and the how he wants to take it out so for example he says sundari ke kavi hi ka vyamratamayam jagat so if the kavi is erotic and quite sundari in the round two then the whole kavya which he writes will be sundaratmaka sayeva vitaraga ke suppose in the sanyasi asate would and have this kind of uh, the static outlook of the situation then the kavya will be nirasa will be dull so here we have got a sarasa kavya which our poet shankara has given to us so in because of that feature of the raised heaviness etc so parvati the art is quite light overpowering by covering the whole of your area upon the earth so as as we see that father's heaviness and father's qualities have been imbibed in parvati and again another is the the we are talking about the nitamba bhara of that and the three vernal goes like that <laughs> and harana is also a kind of kanya sulta or the dowry given and why the parents uh, side of have got to give away whatever that they could make the bride please because kanya daughter is a is a belt or to he kanya and uh, parakiya eva she is always belonging to others and uh, kanvama she says by the by entrusting his daughter sekundara to the hands of dushyanta the bride groom he became little relieved in his heart <coughs> because tatyatitha nyasa eva antaratma so it is a you know indian tradition you know vedic culture a daughter is always considered as a deposit only but deposit that is there in our house we have got to transfer the deposit to someone else but so father and uh, the husband so that's why there is a contrast and so forth the parents will try to give as much as possible and daughter is a wealth and uh, therefore she is a prakriti swarupini and she is a sri mata also and therefore uh, 
and again we describe Lalita Devi as Vishwa Rupa. In the Lalita Shastra also we have got a Nitamba reference and also Leela Kalpita Brahmanda Mandala, Karangurna Khotpanna Narayana Sakrati and also the Nitamba description is why. So in all matter we consider every portion of the body of her of Devi is of great significance and importance and adding to the uh, standards of beauty and wonderful structure. And therefore, here we have the strategy word you should catch because it is covering up the entire earth, the entire area, thereby even Vasumati is, uh, is making her to be smaller, who they is made feeling shy at the beauty of the Devi's uh, uh, structure, and therefore the Devi is Vishwarupi and her features are unique and even beyond comparison. But still people, the poets, indulge in that. So this loka has got a wonderful form, the formula and a mantra, if anybody keeps this uh, sloka for repetition, for japa, parayana, and puja, and om, and the formula, etc., there will be, <coughs> uh, one can control the fire calamity, and any calamity that strikes to the family and other people, they will be able to overcome, and therefore, because of that heaviness and all the description, the sloka adduce that it will also add for our effort to get astasitis. You know, astasitis are, because you got lakima, garima, chaiva, anima, garima, chaiva, lakima, tatha, prapti, prakamyam, ishatvam, vasitvam, cha, ashtapuntaya. So the anima siddhis, there are eight, there are eight siddhis. And among Siddhis, Garima and Lakima, these are the two important things. In fact, Anjaniya Swami is Asta Siddhi, uh, Asta Siddhi is there with him. Therefore, he could become small or big or any size. So when he was flying in the sky, Anjaniya Abhanuman, as you see the description in uh, Sundarakanda Ramayana, he was, which was very, very wide and huge. So huge that one cannot imagine that people are not able to see it. But when he was to land, he became like him, so small that his landing was not even noticed. Because the landing sound was not even noticed by the ant in the Lanka. So gently he landed. So that's all because of making himself quite light, at the same time heavy, that kind of uh, power is there. Anima, Mahima, Shaiva. Garima, Lakima, Tatha, Prapti, whatever for whatever emperor, enterprise or you are, and for whatever you are traveling, you will definitely be able to accomplish it. So Prapti and Dragamyam and Isatvam controls, Vasitvam you will be able to control and same time keep under your uh, concern. Therefore, all these astasiddhis are possible then we are keeping this uh, sloka 81 for the purpose of uh, formula. You know, for, it to, for application, for religious application, or for to get some kind of phala uh, uh, of, our, of, our, of our life or of our expectation, the words employed are seen in the sloka or mantra are important. So, depend, the application depends upon the mantra. That's what the Asutabha Brahmana, when you study that, they will give you the clues how you are able to fix the employment of the mantras and slokas, etc., only at the presence of the relevant words. So, here we have got relevant words like, the, uh, like Stadayati, Lagutvam, Gurutvam, Vistirnam. And each word in Sanskrit has got so much of meaning and uh, to convey and also um, vibrations. Architya, so every word has got that kind of power generative of that. And in fact, Amavaru is called as Akara, Chakara, and Telupanyenamaha, and also Pratipan Mukhyana, Kanda, Sajimandala, Pujita, Yenamoramaha. You know, remember, 
ಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಮೀಟ್ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಮೀಟ್ ಪೌರ್ಣಿಮೆ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ರೆಡಿ ಟು ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ದಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡಿಟಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಅಗಸ್ಟ್ಯ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಬೈ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ವೆನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯೋಪಾಸನ ಹಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯೋಪಾಸನ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರತಿಫಲ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯೋಪಾಸಕ ನಾಮ ಇಹ ಗಹಿಯ ಭೋಗ ಅನ್ಯತ್ರ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಅಂಡ್ ತ್ರಿಪುರ ಸುಂದರಿ ಉಪಾಸಕ ನಾಮ ಸುಂದರಿ ಉಪಾಸನ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಸೌಂದರ್ಯ ಲಹರಿ ಮೀನ್ ಸೌಂದರ್ಯ ಉಪಾಸನ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ಟೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಸ್ಟೆಟಿಕ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸೀ ಸೆರಿನಿಟಿ ಸೈಂಟಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಟು ಎಲಿವೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಐ ಸೀ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀನ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಸ್ಟೆಟಿಕ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ especially with respect to parts of parameshwari because parameshwari is not just a woman but she has been empowered with many 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 powers by the god respectively you know, for example when you turn to the god of society which is also uh, one of the prasthanatrayi of uh, trinitya there also there was a flat light on the top of the mountain and that light uh, took a shape as an ari bhutva so that tedorasi took the form of a woman and the moment she took a form of a beautiful woman that light took form of a beautiful woman then all god came and endowed in her all their powers therefore we have got kaumari varahi etc all these are the sectis belonging to, given by the respect to gods therefore that kind of empowerment is there and Galita Parameshwari is on top of that. Burka, Ralita, all these things, Devakarya Samudhyata, I must remember that uh, the goddesses come into action only to fulfill the Devakarya. And in Burka, she gives a promise also, Yada Yada Dana Votha Vada Vaishyade Tada Tada Vaishyamyaham Whenever there is a Dana Votha Vada is there, I will take for one or the other forum and then try to put it down and give peace and the dharma dharana in the country, in the yoga. So that's why you say it even so. We should not have a, oh, what is this whole, the whole dharma hari? It is all description of the human. No, this kind of uh, feeling one should drop away, drop down and see that actually if you just go to the back, drop, it is a light, yejo rasi. Alta Parmeshwarya, Durga Parmeshwarya, I did Devi for the matter, is Tejo Rasi. But that Tejo Rasi takes a shape and form for the convenience of making the people uh, turn to her, follow her, support her and get benefits from her. That's the concept of Sri Vidya and that is the concept of the daily Upasana. and uh, <clears throat> that's how it is like that and now we'll go to the next to us 82 kari indranam sundan kanaka kadali kanda patali ubhakyam urupyam upayam api nitchitya bhavati urta abhyam patyu pranati ಕಟಿಣಾಭ್ಯಾಂಗಿರಿಂಭಾಂಗಿಮಿಶನ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ but you are taken to some other heights where you are getting the special uh, addresses to Devi one hand 
on the other hand, comparisons. So that when you think of the comparisons, then you will automatically get the elevation of mind. In this uh, sloka, we find the description of the Vuru, that is the thighs portion of that, and also the John the legs of uh, uh, Goddess the person very. Secondly, you mark that she has been given new names. Of course, here you have Vidigne, Girisute, Bhavati, these are all the three addresses to her. So, Bhavati has another meaning. Bhavati has been used as a verb at the same time, uh, used as a vocative. Therefore, Amma, you are Girisuta. That is always referring to her strength and unbreakable uh, situation. Therefore, she is called as Giri Sutta. She is the daughter of Giri, the mountain, Himavan. So, she has all that Kanya. Uh, so, this is a Giri Sutta. And in other places, she is a Giri Kanya. And Shiva is a Rudra, is a Giri Rajan, or Girisha, Girisha, and Girisha. So, Giri is that. So, she is called as Giri Sutta. And she is knows Vidigna. Vidhi is the fate and destiny. And uh, she knows uh, what is her duty and what are her functions. And uh, therefore, these three words, Vidhikne, Bhavati, Girisute, these speak characteristically her features, her personality, and functions. And uh, also, you should know that Vidhikne. So you need not tell Lalita Parmeshwari what you want or what she, you should, what she should do for you. Just our duty is to say, Padara Vipaka Vandana and uh, prayer, and she knows what she should grant for her. That's why she is called by Sankaracharya as Vidhikne. It is Vidhim Vidhim Janati Yasa Vidhikna. And uh, so yeah, she knows the duties. And it is a good behavior. No, if people are voluntarily coming and helping and know also what, where, how they should catch and help people, there's nothing like having a, a prayer for such a mighty personality like that. So, O oh, daughter of mountain, Girisute, you know the dharmas explained in the Veda. That's what. Sutti, 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 so there, Sruti is the Veda. And what Vedas tell you, they, taught, they have encyclopedic knowledge. See, Vedas, not only they talk about the Triguna, and also Triguna, Kital, Jivana, and the philosophy, and therefore, and they also tell you the two duties to have a beautiful, normal, smooth life upon the earth. That's why Sankara Charya at other places, Vedorithya Madhiyatam, Tanditam Karmasvanishtiyatam. You please read or be in touch with Vedas, and whatever good that has been said in Vedas, try to practice, and that is yoga. But for all that, again, who is responsible to urge us for in that direction? is a game, Lalita Parameswari, therefore called, and Shankaracharya says that she is a Dharmatna, or she is a Vitikna, and again Bhavati is a madam, my, my, my woman, see, madam is a, is ma, in French they say madame, madame is my lady, or my, and when you say my lady or my madam, that means you are here, you are too much connected to her, you have great regard for her, and with all that the society, not with any uh, uh, negative idea, he now opens up the mouth saying that your thighs are so soft and strong, excelling the lustre and softness of the trunks of the elephants and uh, trunks of the golden banana tree. You look at it, Karindanam Sundan. Sundan is a uh, trunk. You can imagine an elephant and it's uh, uh, Sundan or it's a uh, staff. And, and Karindra, the two not ordinary elephants, the best of the elephants, the wild elephants. So they will, their Sunda will really be dark and quite long and strong and sturdy. That is how the 
the comparison is being done. And uh, so far as the hardship is concerned, hardship of the thighs, I mean, because the whole body weight stays upon the thigh strength. So, thigh bones are very important for our mobility. If something happens there, we are crippled and we are immobilized. Therefore, in case of Parvati, her, um, her uh, um, thighs are Karindra, Nam, Sunda, and not only strong, she is having a very soft one, something like feather, feather touch. Kanaka Kadali, Kadali Vritsha is the banana plant, and Kanaka Kadali is a golden banana plant, strong and stem. So, this very soft Kanaka Kadali, therefore, the double uh, quality is there in that. And Patalim, and Uma Abhyam, Buru Abhyam. And yes, she has got the two roots. Both the Burus are strong, rough, at the same time soft. And that's why Kave Sabadha, Kave Saknana Saubhagya, Madhavaru Dvayan Vitaya Ina Onama is one main expression. Only Kave Sanayana, Kumuda Akhlata, Chandrika Ina Onama. He comes, uh, she is a Kameshwari. Therefore, you always reply on that, that particular mantra that uh, <coughs> where the refer, uh, gurus are referred and Kamesha Naya and uh, Kamesha Gnata Saubhagya. Saubhagya Martha Guru. They will say, Haikriva Maharshi says, Gurus are Martha and also Saubhagya. Both are there, rested in the Guru of her. And therefore, the Ubhavyam Urupyam Urupayam Nirjitya. So, your Nirjitya means you have the victory over that. That means these two natural ones are nowhere comparable to you, though they claim their own beauty and importance. That is the Karendri, Karendrana, Sunda, and also Kanakavali, Kanda. These are two great things. But before the Thai beauty of uh, Paraneswari, it is nowhere comparable. And also, He Girisute, Surutta Pyam, and uh, they are Surutta, that is, they are so uh, round and well perfect and all that. And Tachu Pranati Katina Pyam, and you know, she is the Katina Tua, the Saubhagya of Guru of Parameshwari is known only to Kameshwari. And that's why these things have got to be hidden and not to be exposed. They are not exposing portions of the woman's body. But unfortunately, you know what is happening. So much of dilution of the uh, culture that has been imparted in our scriptures, especially for protecting the woman's beauty and also all that, as not, that's why there's not, there are so much of uh, uh, violence and uh, so many crimes, etc. for women done. And women are not able to walk in the city because the dress itself is the most hard, uh, most difficult part. Or the part is there for the woman to get uh, troubled by so many things. That's why you observe, when we read the sloka, you can imagine the exact <coughs> culture with which our Indian system or Indian man or woman was there. And only for man, the private parts of the woman are to be seen, but not for any other thing. That is what is called Suvasini. So she is here by herself, she is Suvasini, and she likes other Suvasinis too, who follow up that kind of culture. So Pranati, Katina, Abhyang, Girisate, Vibhuda, Kari, Kumbho, Kumbha, Kari, the celestial elephant. Kari is the elephant. Vibhuta is Devas. That is Airavatam. So the Airavatam also is brought into picture because that Airavata, rather that elephant, is obtained 